and now a political icon in Congress fighting for social justice. Hometown hero, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. I see myself more as a public servant, not necessarily a politician. She is exemplary of the courage that it takes to stick to your principles. I was a student at Mills College as a young mother on welfare with two kids who's working in the community with the Black Panther Party, making sure people have something to eat. Social justice, that's always been just part of who I am. When I first came to Congress, they told us, don't use the word poverty. But Barbara Lee fights to elevate this issue. Raising the minimum wage to a living wage, that's a recommendation which this committee should embrace. You meet her and you instantly feel connected to her spirit. She's very values driven. It is coming from the core of her beliefs. Barbara Lee is the conscience of the Congress. She is going to be that consistent voice for what's right. The president is authorized to use force. This is going to set the stage for endless war. This resolution is passed. One no vote on the board. Central to democracy is the right to dissent. She was right. It was important that her community understood the enormous risk she took in standing up for peace and justice. When I feel like I'm under fire, I think about her example. You know, she paved the way. You can stand your ground, speak your peace, and survive. I felt mentored by her example before I ever had the blessing of being mentored as a colleague. My friend, daughter of Oakland, is now the vice president, so the East Bay is in the house. Because of Shirley Chisholm, I am, and because of Shirley Chisholm, Kamala Harris is. Continue to speak out, don't back down. And as we say in my district, stay warm.